Welcome to our ninth video on subnetting. This video is on a process called anding. This is a very simple process, but it is the process that a router or a computer or some other network device goes through in order to figure out what the network address is, what network it's on. And um, it uses the subnet mask plus, or not plus, but and the, um, and the address in order to figure it out. Now notice I'm using the word address, network address. That's very important here. The network address is not the network ID. Remember earlier uh, in another video, and I don't remember which video uh, number it was, but I mentioned that the network ID is a partial address. Something like uh, 201.16 might be the network address, and then 32.5 would be the host address. Or not, I, not address, network ID. And then the, the last part is the is the host ID. That is a partial address. You need all four octets in order to make an address. And so a network address has to have four octets and it is simply the ID, the network ID, followed by all zeros. So let's uh, do an example of anding so that we can see how the process works. The router or computer is going to and an IP address with the subnet mask. So here's an IP address, 192.168.13.7. And I've put that here in uh, binary form so we can do this process. And then the subnet mask, 255.255.255.0, I've put in, uh, in binary form so that we can see this process. So let's AND them and see how this process works. 1 AND 1. Logically, this is an AND, so 1 AND 1 equals 1. In other words, if this is a 1 AND this is a 1, then the result is 1. Well, this is a 1 AND that's a 1, so the result is 1. Uh-oh, this is a 0 and that's a 1. Well, that, done, that one doesn't work. They both have to be 1s, so that's a 0. The next one is a 0 and a 1, so that's also 0. Well, it looks like all these are zeros. And you can see what's going on here. If there's a 0 at all, then the answer is going to be zero. Well, let's put a dot and do the next one. One and one is one. One and zero is zero. One and one is one. One and zero is zero. One and one is one. One and zero is zero. One and zero is zero. One and zero is zero. Look closely, you'll see that what's going on here is I'm getting out exactly what I put in up here. These are identical. The, the solution here and this are identical as long as I've got ones here. Let's continue it. One and zero. The first four of these are zeros because I've got all zeros up there. And then I've got a one and one, so I've got a one there. One and one. Zero and one is zero. One and one. Yeah, that's that following through here just fine. This is identical to this as long as I've got a 255 here. And then finally, well, this is 0 and 0, 0 and 1. No matter what I have here, as long as I've got zeros here, these are all going to be zeros. And there we have it. If we do the ending process, this result turns out to be the network address. The network address is this, which is 192, dot this, which is 168, same as up here, 168. And then this is a 13 here, because we got it from here, and, and remember it remains the same after the ending process, so we'll say 13. And then this part is all zeros, dot zero. So the network ID is 192 dot 168.13. The network address is 192.168.13.0. Well, you might ask then, what's the host address? Well, the host address is 192.168.13.7. This was the host address. Now, remember, the host ID is just 7 in this case, because it's just the last portion, the last octet here. But the host address is the whole thing. So the host address has a network ID and a host ID put together. 
and uh, so that's all we have in other words it's the same as the network address plus the host ID if you wanted to do it that way 192.168.13.0 plus the host ID which is dot seven so it would be 192.168.13.7 and that's all there is to this anding process now bear in mind that the, the computers can do another uh, a, a whole bunch of different kinds of what we call logical processes there's one called or there's one called exclusive or there's one called NAND which it means not and and so forth there's several different ones there's not and, and some others but uh, in this particular case it uses the AND process or the AND logical function in order to figure out what the network address is so now we know how to find the network address and the host address using the binary language and the AND process so uh, hopefully you know you'll get good enough at doing it without going through all this because this took some time and remember on a certification test you don't particularly have a lot of time but at least now you can understand what it's going through in order to do it all right thank you and we'll see you in the in the next video and by the way the next topic i don't think i put it down here uh is uh, network and broadcast addresses so we'll see you in that one now network and broadcast addresses next all right we'll see you then thanks for watching